Welcome to PMP Exam Drive Time. Over the past few episodes, we've been talking about those unique things in the different process groups. So we've talked about planning, we've talked about closing, and now we're going to talk about initiating. Initiating is rather unique in that it's the very beginning of the project, but then it could also be the beginning of a phase, you see. So you could charter a phase, you could charter a project. It's kind of unique in that way. It's the first thing that comes in a phase, the first thing that comes in a project, depending on how the project is sliced and diced. And in addition to that, initiating is rather unique in that you do not have anything from the project coming in to develop project charter, if you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying? from develop project charter you get your very first project management type output from the project itself but apart from what you get out of the charter everything else that you see as an input you know and I should mention the assumption log but everything else that you see as an input it comes from within the organization, outside of the project. Business case from outside of the project. Business document outside of the project. You get what I'm saying? So initiating is unique in that sense, especially the first process. Maybe not identify stakeholders because you've got the project management plan going in, but let's just say the very first process, develop project charter, it has nothing from the project going into it because it's the very first thing that you do. Identify stakeholders is a bit quirky in that you've got the project management plan going into it. Things to think about, my friends. That's all I've got for today. I'll see you again in another episode of PMP Exam Drive Time. Bye for now.